Hi, my name's Adam Stott, founder and owner of Big Cars. I'm about to go with a private jet behind me and speak to American business tycoon Mark Norcross, who started the global brand Mark David, building high-end furniture in the hospitality industry. I'm going to ask him some interesting questions about his opinion on client service and how to stay so motivated and driven in building a brand that delivers quality to people that, that deal with him. So let's go inside, let's go and go and meet him and ask those questions and see what, see what nuggets of advice we can get from him. Right, I'm sitting here with Mark Norcross, American tycoon, owner and founder of the global hospitality chain, Mark David. I'm really honored to be sitting with him now. I'm just gonna ask a couple of questions. Obviously, we're building a brand in the UK that is very customer centric and all about customer service and about looking after our clients. What, what advice could you give to me and other business owners that are looking to really build customer service into the, their brand and make it at the forefront? The first thing I would do when you're talking about customer service is do you know your customer? That's the first question I would ask. Do you know your customer? And when you know your customer, are there different channels of those customers? You have different age groups of your, of your customers. You have a different product, so you might have a different customer for a different product. If you're selling, I understand, a Ferrari, yep. or if you're selling a car that's less than a Ferrari, like a, a Fiat. Yep. So if you're selling a Fiat, you will not give the same pitch to the person that's buying the Fiat that you will the Ferrari. Now, it's the end result is the same. You want to sell the car, and I'm not suggesting that there's a difference in a person that is buying a Fiat yep. and a Ferrari, but you're gonna talk about different bells and whistles to the guy that you're selling the Ferrari to and the one that you're selling the Fiat to. Both will do in their soul. So the question, the answer to the question is, you know your customer and give them customer service. You know it because you understand it. And then you're fo focusing in on that specific what, what, customer, what, they want, what yeah? their needs are. And delivery. Okay, that's and not necessarily what your needs are, but what their needs are. Fantastic advice. Okay, thank you very much for that. My other question is, obviously you built a massive brand, a global brand. And that's really admirable. I just wanted to know what has kept you so motivated and driven, you know, over the years. When you've got to that point where you've built the brand, you're absolutely rocking, you know, but you've just kept going and you've carried on building that brand. That's really what I'm interested in, the things that kept you motivated and driven to keep delivering on that promise. Because it started from the day one when I had the focus of starting the company. I had a dream and a vision that I wanted to be the biggest and the best in the industry. And in order to do that, you have to remember where you came from and where you want to be. And I call that a vision. And I say very simply, close your eyes, do it once a month and say, I'm here. This is where I want to be. And that gives you the energy to say, I'm not quite there yet. I'm going to get there. And what's really important is to continue to deliver on your promise. And when you get back from those customers there and you give them what they need, it just gives you the energy to say, I want to do it again and again and again. I love that. That is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for, for, for today. It's been brilliant spending time with you. And right, should we get flying? Let's go. Let's go.